This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a 1970 GTO Judge. So this is a real deal Judge documented by PHS Documents. Great looking car. It was not white from the factory. Um, but the restorer decided to paint it white and put those decals on it. And uh, I'm not pissed about it. I, I like white. So many of them looks great. Sounds great too. As we go through here on the PHS documents, uh, first thing you always want to look at is the stuff highlighted. This is a factory judge, $337.02 for this option, kind of crazy. Um, it also is going to just go through uh, the color codes, trim codes, that kind of stuff. And as long as we got this pulled out, let's go through it, Dalton. This thing has a 355 rear axle, all right? Uh, factory four-speed transmission, exactly what it is today. As far as the interior is black, and that's how that came, and it's got the uh, Palomino copper exterior. So the only thing that's been changed out as far as the outside and inside appearance of this car is the color change from Palomino copper to white. And I do like the white, I mentioned that earlier. Um, it was the 400 uh, four-barrel Ram Air 3 engine. So it was the WS engine is what it would have come out with from the factory. It's no longer the original engine. It is a YS GTO engine. So it's a lower horsepower, uh, 335 horse uh, yep. GTO engine. So. But it did look, um, and I'm no mechanic, but it did look, and Justin thought too, that they had the correct heads on it. As far as it was appraised back in 2016 by... George. George. George's appraisal, I thought, was a little high, a little yeah. higher than what we were asking. It's an appraisal for you, but it's all right. Uh, 73,023 miles, and that was done in 16. I'm gonna look at the miles right now, Dalt. Okay, so it's actually had seven, uh, basically 800 and some miles more put on it in the last uh, five, six years. Okay. So pretty cool. So less than a thousand miles put on it in the last six years. Um, and he priced it according to all the, according to all the conditions, and he labeled it excellent. Ninety-five seven ninety-eight. Yep. I don't know where he came up with the seven ninety-eight. I don't know, but that's sure what George thought it was worth, and uh, we're asking sixty-three thousand. So. so you can buy it and make money if you find George. There you go. Maybe George will buy it for that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fire car. it up again so you guys can hear it under the hood, and we'll lift the hood. It starts damn easy, too. Hood, pop, hood pops up really nice. Really clean out of the hood. That's it, you got your GTO 400 engine, power steering. And it is a YS code. Like I said, that's the correct, uh, at least it's the correct GTO engine. Yeah, so this has power steering and no power brakes. So they're just power steering, drum brake, real deal, judge. Engine runs great. Yeah, it does. Complete tune-up. Just uh, check that carburetor all out, put new plugs in it, just gave it a full tune-up. Worst part about the whole car, and it's very typical for these uh, 70s GTOs, is you got some stress cracks on your enduro uh, bumper. Seems like every GTO always has at least one or two on there. Dude, you're right about the white though. Out here in the sunshine, oh, I love it. it's gorgeous. As far as our hood goes, I'll just kind of go around some things with you. The hood lines up great in the back, lines up very nicely. Same thing, all the way around all the sides, all the way across the front. It does have like 10 little tiny imperfections here and there. We'll just kind of point a few of these things out. Got a couple little ones here, same thing here. The very back, it has three tiny ones. Other than that, the hood's in great shape. As we go down here to the tires, we got some Firehawk Firestones. Two uh, 25, 70, 15, so we got a nice tall tire. Looks like the same all the way around. 
As we go up and down the uh, side of the car, body looks super straight, paint's got a great luster to it, got the correct judge decals. Um, as far as our timing goes, the timing's nice and set uh, well also, no diesel in, um, starts easy, shuts off, excellent. A little tiny little paint crack there again in the front nose. Um, bottom of the front fender, bottom of the door is excellent. No issues there, no bubbles or blisters. Bottom of the quarter is great as well. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, um, you'll see how solid the floors and trunk are, um, are as well. As far as our door, sticks out just a little bit there, and it looks to me like the whole door can come in on the striker just a little bit, can it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Dalton's pushing in on it. Um, so we just need to adjust that striker a little bit in and take a couple seconds there to do that. Um, little paint chip right here in the quarter panel. No surface rust, nothing like that on it yet, but behind the wheel is excellent. Um, back glass looks good. Trunk lid fits excellent all the way around. You know, it's got the iconic Judge rear spoiler. Back bumper is nice and clean. Um, very well could be the original. It's got some light scuffs in it, but uh, really shines up nice. The tail light lenses, reverse light lenses are good. It's got the correct GTO dual exhaust tips. As we uh, sneak in here to the inside, paint on the door jams is nice. We pictured this one a couple weeks ago. It's been in our showroom, so it is just a little bit dusty. I'm sorry about that, but we just kind of got time now to catch up on some of these videos. Um, inside door panel is in beautiful shape. Dash pad's great as well. It's got the factory steering wheel. Steering column's good. We have just a little bit of a scratch here. Um, from the keys rubbing. Look at the condition of the wood grain on it. It's gorgeous. The glove box is excellent as well. Inside the glove box is nice. All the little uh, chrome here is all in beautiful shape. Original radio looks great. And frickin' works. AM, FM. that cool? AM, FM still works. Go ahead and shut that off for now. Um, it looks like at some point somebody went ahead and redid the rear view mirror. The antenna's in the windshield. Visors are nice and tight. They're in excellent shape. It's got the overhead seat belts. Dome light works. Back of the door headliner is excellent as well. Back shelf's nice. The more I go around this Judge Dalton, it's in great shape, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Back seat's fantastic. All four door panels are really in good shape. It's got seat belts for three in the back. It's got the, uh, retract the factory retractable GM retractables in the front. Oh, wait one second. Yeah, I just want to get this corner of this door. I forgot to do that. Um, corner of the door is awesome. Never had any body filler or anything there. It is missing uh, one of the little door uh, rubbers. As far as the uh, rubbers themselves go, they're in decent shape. Roof rail rubbers are all been replaced as well. Driver side, super straight. I love how the quarter panels and fenders bulge out too. And with the judge decals, it just really just brings that to life, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. They're such a unique decal. You know, like what the hell are they? Yeah. But they look great. They do. Know? It pops those, uh, the extended oh, quarters. And I love and how they, they tie in all the three colors. And there's so many different variations of it, but I really like this white um, with that sticker package. And you know what else? Somebody's going to say that, you know, a real judge shouldn't have the wheel Beauty rings, yeah. yeah. The, the beauty rings on them, and we know that, um, but you know what, the previous owner had them on. They look good on there, they look yeah. better with them, so yeah. we're just gonna go ahead and leave them on there. So if you wanna pop them off, go ahead. Yeah, if you buy it and you don't like them, then take them off. Yep, uh, roof is awesome. Lead line here is really good as well. This is a really good place to look on all these uh, Chevelles, GTOs, Monzas, all this kind of stuff. Um, the lead lines usually go bad there. Um, that one's in great shape. Um, bottom corner of the door has just three tiny, tiny little bubbles right here, but it fits in great to the back of the quarter panel. As far as uh, down in uh, the bottom of the quarter is in great shape as well. Bottom of the front fender is awesome. Door. 
The hood um, meets up beautifully here to the top of the fender, top of the door. Got the factory sticker here still. Um, driver's side door has had a little bit of body work on this very corner lip, but really fits good to the bottom. So. Dash pad, like I said, is in great shape. Um, seats are in great shape. As far as the uh, seat backs, that's an easy thing a guy can do. We mentioned this on the Chevelle. They're about 180 bucks for the seat backs with all the chrome all pre-assembled. Just take them off, uh, basically clip them right back on. And uh, that would really freshen up the interior a little bit. And with this one, you could honestly even do the seat chrome itself. It comes with it. The back, that's what I was yeah. saying. Yeah, but yeah, you could, you just, could just go just ahead and go with the chrome. Um, as well, so you can get that. I think that's 89 bucks. So a couple little things like that. As far as our mileage, 73,912 miles. I'm pretty sure that's the original miles. But again, the, uh, the chrome and stuff and the wood grain on the dash is just excellent. So as we pull out here, I just want to go through what works and what don't. Wipers. Heater fan, horn, gas gauge, tachometer, all that works. We have aftermarket gauges here. We're running about 40 pounds of oil pressure. Um, when it's uh, as far as the temperature is just coming up on it, amp gauge is working. Radio we mentioned works. Yep, AM, oh, yeah. FM. Nice all dome light power. works good. Kind of talked about that. I mean, mechanically, this is a fantastic car. Um, paint body looks great. Interior's nice. And the exhaust sounds freaking sweet. When I was behind you and you were revving it up, man, that, that's enough to get anyone excited. You don't call these things the judge for no reason, right? So, the speedometer works perfect. I hope the brakes work. Coming and in high they do. and. They do. Look at that, perfect. You even made now, the stop sign. Look at that. No hands, <laughs> yeah, coming in hot. Um, no power brakes, no disc brakes. Stop absolutely perfect. The drums don't pull left or right at all. Really sounds good and idles good as well, doesn't it? Four barrel kicks in nice. Fantastic driving car. Yeah, it is. Pass the Subaru. It will pass the Subaru. Better pass the Subaru. Going down the highway, um, one thing I'm going to say is it seems to be like the uh, speedometer's off a little bit. We still have our, our back windows down, so if you hear any wind, so let's that's try. Why. Can you roll them up, or is that going to be difficult for you? The nice thing is the windows go up and down super smooth, don't they? Yeah, they do. All right. As far as our, uh, as far as uh, goes down the road, about 48 mile an hour is what the odometer is showing. It handles perfectly, but I feel like we're doing about 65. So yeah, we I think it's off about 10, 12 mile an yeah, hour slow. Yeah, because we're catching that boat, so we're not doing 45. So that thing runs really nice. Check it out on the website, CoyoteClassics.com. We'll put the link down in the comments of this video. You can be the next one to drive this Judge.